all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not point your fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Getting ready to go here for qualifying two. Um, struggled a bit in Q1. Hopefully, find some more time here in Q2. Um, we're gonna. We got our plan of attack. Actually, I'm going out on the tire that I used yesterday. Um, halfway through the session, we're gonna come in, put a new tire on, and then uh, we'll go for it. We'll see where we end up in the in the timesheet. We definitely need to move up the move up the board a little bit and uh, see what we can do. bump up here with a new tire and go fast. He just hopped up into second, so that's super good. He's 0.4 off of Jody, so that's a super good that he hopped up into the front row. Yeah, you know, we're just, we've, we've been, we've been uh, trying to figure trying out the setup, just getting it dialed in, in uh, here uh, at VAR, but, but uh, uh, my mechanic uh, Eric is, uh, suspension uh, guy's doing awesome, doing awesome, and we're uh, uh, trying to work trying through, through it as fast as we can. Well, I'm just wondering why everybody else isn't wheeling and I am, you know? I really want to train, kind of like the corkscrew. Yeah, yeah. 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 like it's light, yeah. yeah. I was almost having to stand up, go over the front, and over the front. And I, I realized that there's no nothing. It's just rolling. Getting suited up and ready to go for race two here at VAR. Are you gonna go down? Ready? I'm sorry, I'm slow at getting ready. Don't apologize to me. Slow, get ready, fast on the track. Letting them, you know, upgrade them a little bit. So for them to get hom homologated right before the season, all of these Aprilia guys, including the Robin Engineering crew, and you see the 51 of Caleb DeCaro going through his electronics there, they got zero days. Lights go on, when they turn off, we go racing with the Twins Cup. Big wheelie by Jackson Blackman, that's gonna hurt him And huge. a much better start today out of Jody Berry. Look at Chris Parrish, the old man, 128, just motors around the outside. A lot of work's gone into that Suzuki, and he's been riding that bike for years. It won him a championship in 2018, and he runs around the outside as somebody down early. And you always say this in the interest of safety. They're bringing out that red flag, so. The riders that went down in that first turn, evidently either the bike, uh, being where it is, and they can't clear it off, or the rider, uh, they need to get things squared away with them. Right, let's go down to Jason. Yeah, Caleb DeCaro, we talked quite a bit this morning about the struggles you've had throughout the weekend. For the little bit of data we have this one lap, are things going in the right direction for you? Yeah, we're uh, slowly making progress here on my Robum Engineering Aprilia RS660. I got off to an amazing start. Uh, 
Honestly, the, the starts on this bike are, are really fun, and uh, it launches pretty good, so hopefully we can get out front uh, again in the next one um, and just put our head down and try and get away. That was kind of the goal. Um, I was trying to do that, and then the red flag came out. I hope uh, if somebody went down, I hope they're all right, uh, obviously. And, uh, yeah, just looking forward to getting back out there and putting in some good solid laps and getting some more uh, time to develop this uh, RS660. Front, the lights are out, and a good job by Caleb DeCarroll again. He's going to have inside. That red bike should just launch, so you're not kidding. And now DeCarroll's going to look to do that. It's really hard going into that first turn when you're a little ways back because all the guys start breaking and, yep. you know, you're behind. Missed the opener with a broken arm. Here's the battle, though, as Barry tries to get to the inside. What I'm impressed with, he missed being at the races so much. What were you nervous about? Well, Jackson just... That fast? Know, that things quick. That fast. Norm McDonald, uh, the one way... Oh. It's getting quickly. He's looking. He's starting to move. With that strong motor, it's also uh, Blackman's got to keep that tire to the ground. Time going into seven, and look at how hard all these guys are under the brakes. And you see the immediacy. Next time around, they're going to get the white flag. They know they need to put on the charge. There's two laps left. Caleb's right behind Jackson and Jody, so he's playing it smart. Um, he's, he got the fastest lap of the race so far. To Carroll in third, Teague Hobbs in fourth. Yep, just like we thought. White flag is out, we're on the last lap. Barry tried to drive around that outside. He's got to get it turned though. He's trying to close up that exit and he does. He's going to get a pretty big gap. The, the, the one factor is Caleb DeCarroll on the 51. If he gets by Jackson Blackman. That one got away. A crash in practice yesterday. Problems at the motorcycle, that one got away. He wants to close and he's in position to do it. And, and this last lap, he's got a purple first sector, so you can tell that's the fastest of anybody this race. And you can see the gap that he's pulled out. He needs two or three tenths going uh, down that, coming into that last turn. And it's gonna be close right now. You see the gap and we know how fast that Yamaha is. In second. To Carol and Aprilia, the Suzuki back there in fourth of Teague Hobbs. What a drive. He might do it. Let's see how fast this job. That's a too much diff distance. No way. Coming to the stripe. He didn't want it to slip away, and he does it. He grabs it by the throat and takes the victory. Jody Berry on the Aprilia. Jackson Blackman on the Yamaha in second, and Caleb DeCarroll with another podium in the Aprilia into third. And I had a blast when I buy uh, Rome Engineering RS660 out here. In third place, representing Rome Engineering, Caleb DeCarroll! Congratulations to all of our podium finishers. Overall, the setup was quite a bit better in the race, and I was a lot more comfortable than yesterday. So, uh, a lot of positives heading into Road America from, from where we were yesterday. Um, setup's way better, tire choice is way better, so I'm really happy with where we ended up here at VIR. And uh, we'll take this momentum and move forward on to Road America, one of my... Uh, one of my favorite tracks and close to home, so it should be fun. If you guys like this video, please make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button for us. Uh, we really do appreciate all the subscribers we have on this channel and everybody who watches the, the videos. You know, we put a lot of effort into, into making these videos for you guys. Really nice to have the support and the comments, um, and I'm really glad you guys are enjoying the videos because it is uh, quite a bit of work. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys at Road America.